the card that we've been working on originally uh, the problematic card with wetting on it uh, is becoming more and more challenging and becoming more and more complex as we discover new things as we move along with the case so so far uh, we're at the point where we need to record a pattern into uh, a donor card that uh, will help us uh, with further analysis of how the data is structured inside of the NAND. We do have suspicion that this card is using a DPC algorithm for error correction which um, will make this case uh, unsolvable for the time being but in order to invalidate these or validate these thoughts uh, and we need some solid confirmation. For that we're gonna use uh, this patterned card uh, right now what I've been waiting on is the transfer because the card that was sent in as a functional one had some data on it I don't know if the client maybe will need this content. I don't want to just override it um, My challenge this morning was uh, um, every uh, Adapter that I used <laughs> did not want to recognize the card because I wired it up uh, for SD protocol and NAND protocol together right now I only have uh, SD protocol connected to it, but you can see uh, my NAND protocol connections are tinned already. I've done some work on them already, but now we're gonna have to track back a little bit and uh, redo some of the stuff. It's no big deal, but just something that I wanted to mention. Sometimes, you know, you just get one of these days where like nothing that you want um, follows the plan. And it seems like everything is turning against you. You just gotta battle through it. And eventually you'll you'll flip that wave upside in the upside direction and start moving forward again you know bad luck has a tendency of running out also and I think we've bottomed out around 12 o'clock with this and now ready to go <laughs> to the upside so I need to wire this thing up again for an end protocol uh, just let me pull up a schematic for me and uh, need flux. I'm using a dual channel card today. It doesn't make any difference in what we end up doing, but I didn't have any uh, single channel ones anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six.
good here. Uh, no short between VCC and VSS. So setting this up on the ground. I'm just going to check all the signals. All set. This is a channel 2 we soldered to. Going to get the quick ID read on it. We get proper ID. So once we write the pattern to it, we should be able to begin reading out an end protocol uh, with a device that already has that pattern. Now the data has been backed up off of the card. We don't need to worry about what's on there. Uh, we can turn this off, uh, plug this card into the SD card reader. And now we can see that it works. So the plugins, pattern writer, device. This is going to be the device. So we're going to record to half of it uh, to this address with the 77 pattern and then the other half with the 00, zero pattern. All right, so the 77 pattern is done. All right, the pattern is ready and uh, let's uh, have a look at what we ended up with. I'm going to run our studio for this. It's going to detect our device as the card that's plugged in here. So this drive H, we go into uh, hex view. Here's what we observe. So we got the pattern of 77 written to about half of the card, not about half, but precisely half there uh, then it stops and carries on with zeros all right so now that we have the task created for the pattern let's go ahead and uh, read the ID on this should come up with ID have a look as you can see if we look at the um, uh, NAND level we don't see um, zeros or we don't see seven seven anymore we see uh, this randomized code. So this randomized code is XOR that is applied on top of our um, pattern that we wrote. The pattern that we had for 77 would be up on top. The pattern that we have for uh, 00, 00 is here. So now we're going to read this part and um, for today that's where I guess we're going to wrap it up. In the third part of the video guys uh, we'll do uh, the overall review of the uh, um, analysis uh, that was performed for data conversion and um, I'll explain what might be the challenge for us to have this case solved or if we're actually going to get a breakthrough and figure this thing out. For now guys, uh, I'm going to end it here and thank you very much for watching. This is how you record the pattern to a device for further developments of the mix. And in our case here it was necessary step and hopefully this step will bring us closer to the data that the customer desperately needs uh, thanks for watching guys uh, 30 on 30 challenge is still going strong I appreciate all the support and I'll see you all in the next episode